Well, some indie residents expressing frustrations over a woman's recovery house that could be opening up in their south side Broad Ripple neighborhood. Despite some public meetings, some neighbors feel the decision is up to this point to have happened behind their backs. Fox 59's Courtney Crown digging into what they say indie residents have uh, in who lives next door. It's my understanding that the way things have been handled are legal, but I certainly feel that they are unethical. Dr. Amy Rice lives on Winthrop Avenue and recently learned a woman's recovery home could move into this property nearby. This place on Winthrop Avenue recently served as a hostel for travelers. Setting them up in, in a area like this where they're surrounded by 10 bars all within a one and a half mile radius. Rice says her neighbors received a flyer in the mail from a law firm representing Overdose Lifeline Inc. That's the organization that would operate this holistic women's recovery residence program if it's approved to open here. I knocked on some doors of local neighbors to try to find out if they knew anything about it, and no one really did. A lot of people have thrown it away. According to city rules, a petitioner must alert the Metropolitan Development Commission of a desire to make a change. The commission gives a 23-day notice of a public hearing of the zoning case to surrounding property owners, registered neighborhood groups, and city county councilors. A notice is also printed in the newspaper two weeks prior, and an orange sign is posted on each street side of the property. All zoning changes must be approved by the commission and the city county council. Perhaps the laws should change. Um, notifying two properties away from the petitioner's site, especially in an area where the lots are so small, is really not notifying enough people. Residents are encouraged to come to the public hearings or reach out to the petitioner whose contact info is posted on public notices. The petitioner isn't required to meet with residents, but the city hopes they will. I think that uh, you, you need to get involved in your community. I mean, at this point, I sort of feel of my neighbors like they're my extended family. The operations of this recovery center is not set in stone. Today, this matter was heard and continued during a public hearing at the city county building. Now, Overdose Lifeline and its representation and those objecting to the facility have until April 14th to discuss things before going back before the hearing examiner. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. Now, if anyone has concerns over new neighbors coming into your community in Indy, we do have some links posted on our website that show you exactly what options you have in that case. As for the proposed recovery house, you can actually read more about this topic at fox59.com.